Hey everyone, it's Ev. Today we're going to learn how to make friends. This video is for all you internet babies out there who think making friends means sending a friend request. Because you're right. You won't keep your new friends long without adding them on Facebook. Hey, thanks for bringing the beer. No problem, dude, it's what friends are for. Yeah, about that. You still haven't added me on Facebook. Um, I, I don't really use it, you know, just for family or a way to keep in touch with people. So then we're not friends? Ugh, I'll do it when I get home. Awesome! For that meaningful relationship that goes beyond getting a birthday wish posted on your wall every year, here are my top five things you should look for in a friend. First, your friends should be real. I know, we're such good friends! I already told you I don't want to come visit your farm. It's one big waste of time. You know what? Fine, just, just go. Ugh. Why do they always leave me? Second, you should share common interests. Wow, you like to pee your name in the snow too. We should be friends. I'm really impressed right now. Third, you should be able to trust and depend on your friend. Hey, I need you to help me move. A body. Fourth, your friend should know exactly what to say to lift you up when you're feeling down. What's wrong? I thought we were gonna go out. I don't know. I'm just feeling down in the dumps today. Aw. Well, here's a tampon and some Midol. When you aren't feeling like a whiny little bitch anymore, just let me know and we'll go. And lastly, your friend is someone you don't sleep with. I don't think so. Now let's look at some examples of good friends and bad friends. Good friend. The listener. Ugh, I can't believe it. Why? What happened? Bad friend. The center of the universe. Ugh, I can't believe it. That's nice. Do you think I should go blonde? Good friend. The one who says nasty things to you, but you know it's all out of love. I've had enough of your ugly face for one day. Really? Because your mom was loving it all up in her coin purse last night. <laughs> hey, you want to get something to eat? Okay. Bad friend. The one who says nasty things to you and you treat it like sarcasm, but you secretly wonder if they mean what they say, so you trash them behind their back in case they're doing the same to you. I've had enough of your ugly face for one day. Really? Because your mom was loving it all up in her coin purse last night. Let's get something to eat. Yes, let's. Good friend. Someone uglier than you. Do I really need to explain this one? It clearly makes you look better. Bad friend. The Eeyore of the group. Hey, let's put on the game. No, my team never wins. Okay, well we can rent a movie. They all suck. Um, we can go pick up chicks at the bar. The girls never want me. You know what? How about we just take a dump in each other's mouth? It hurts when I poo. Wow, dude. Good friend. A computer nerd. Hey, buddy, want to come over? We can play Call of Duty. Oh, I forgot my computer broke. But hey, you can probably fix it so it won't be a problem anymore. What an amazing coincidence I called you to come over. Thanks, buddy. See you in a bit. Bad friend. A Dalek. Exterminate. Now that you know what types of friends you should and should not look for, you can make friends by asking, will you be my friend? It helps to get to know them a little beforehand. Beware, if they don't reply to your repeated tweets at them, and you suddenly find their Facebook page privated, and they call the police on you the fifth or sixth time you sat outside their window, chances are they don't want to be your friend. And that's it! I just want you to know I was kidding at the end. I love it when people creep on me. But I like all kinds of things. And not just from friends. And always as frequently as possible. And until next time, peace!